Hello, welcome to our tutorial on image element. Are you struggling with customizing the image element on .com? We've got you covered. Adding personalized images to your website helps to improve your engagement rate and bring your customer closer to your purpose. No matter what the purpose of your website is, it is incomplete without images. .com empowers you with interactive tools to make your design remarkable. How? Go to the desired theme page in your .com account and click Elements. Drag and drop the image element to the design canvas. Hover over the dropped element, you can customize it through three sections. Image element, container column, container row, one image element. Click the edit icon on the image element. Content, style, and advanced. Let's start with the content tab first. To add an image, click on the edit icon. You can upload an image from your computer. Please note that the maximum size of the image should not exceed 5 megabytes. Now, let's adjust the alignment. Select the screen type as desktop, tablet, or mobile from the drop-down and adjust the alignment to left-aligned, center-aligned, or right-aligned for each screen type. Switch to the Style tab. Here, you can adjust the width, height, and object fit for different screen types, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Also, .com gives you the provision to alter the style of the image in normal mode and under the hover effect. For both modes, you get to change the opacity, border parameters, and box shadow effortlessly. Switch to the Advanced tab. Here, you can adjust the margin, padding, and width of the image element for different screen types. Further, without any coding assistance, you can fill in the z-index, CSS ID, and CSS classes. The next section in this tab is visibility where you get to hide this element on desktop, tablet, or mobile screens with the swipe of a toggle. Now, let's go to the next section, container column. To container column. As you are aware, the image element is wrapped in a container. To edit it, click the edit icon. Go to the content tab. Here, adjust the different column parameters like column width, column gap, and alignment for different screen types. Switch to the Style tab. It has two modes, Normal and Hover. Here, you can customize different style parameters for the background and border for each mode separately. Under the Advanced tab, customize the margin, padding, and visibility of the container column. Free Container Row. Hover over the edit icon and click it. Like the container column, you can customize the content, style, and advanced settings here. Select the content tab. Here, you can adjust the content width, height, row gap, column position, vertical align, and HTML tag. Switch to the style tab. It has normal and hover tabs. Under each mode, configure the background and border customizations of the container row. Navigate to the advanced tab. Here, you can customize the margin and padding. You can also add the CSS ID and CSS classes here. Configure the responsive. Finally, adjust the visibility on different screens, desktop, tablet, and mobile. That is all about the container row in the image element. To change the position of the image element, hover over it and locate the six dots icon. Click press drag and drop the icon to move the image element to the desired position on the page. To create a new container, hover over the image element and click on plus. A new blank container is added below the existing element container. You can drag and drop any element inside the blank container now. To duplicate the element, Hover over it and click the copy icon. A duplicate copy of the element gets added below the existing one. Click on the delete icon to delete the image element from the page. Save the changes and click preview to see the updated design. We'll be back with more helpful tutorials to help you with designing your website. If you have any queries or concerns, please reach out to our implementation specialist or contact our support team for further assistance. Thank you for watching.